ऑफ वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर फाइव यूनिट डाउनवर्ड हम पुल करेंगे Hello students in this video we will study one most powerful tool in complex numbers that is de moivre's theorem here is the statement of de moivre's theorem cos theta plus i sin theta power n this is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta the power of complex number gets multiplied uh, with argument hum ye jo power hai usko argument ke sath multiply karte hain iska proof bahut simple hai If we consider Euler form of complex number, using Euler form, proof is uh, simple. In fact, it is uh, a formality. What is Euler form of uh, this complex number? It is e power i theta. Okay, this power n. This is equal to e power i n theta. So we have now complex number whose argument is n theta. So we write this complex number as cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. This is proof. तो आप देख सकते हैं ये एक सिर्फ formality है एक obvious सा statement लग रहा है ठीक है Okay, now uh, we can use this de Moivre's theorem only when complex number is in standard polar form. This is standard polar form cos theta plus i sin theta. Also we have cos theta minus iota sin theta power n is equal to cos n theta minus iota sin n theta in this complex number also we can use de moivre's theorem because uh, cos theta minus i sin theta can be put in this form cos of minus theta plus iota sin of minus theta this power n now this complex number is in standard polar form so uh, we can uh, multiply power n with argument so we have cos of minus n theta plus iota sin of minus n theta okay and this is equal to cos n theta minus iota sin n theta so in this two forms of complex numbers we can use uh, de moivre's theorem now if we have complex number in this form sin theta plus iota cos theta in this form we cannot use de moivre's theorem that means this is not equal to sin n theta plus iota cos n theta theek hai agar complex number mein yahan pe real part sin theta hai imaginary part cos theta hai to hum de moivre's theorem use nahi kar sakte we cannot write this uh, is equal to this in fact uh, Uh, here we can change sine function to cos and cos function to sine uh, using uh, cos pi by 2 minus theta and here uh, sine pi by 2 minus theta okay so we have this complex number power n now we can use de moivre's theorem real part cosine function ke form mein hai imaginary part sine function ke form mein hai we can use de moivre's theorem so this is equal to cos of n multiply by pi by 2 minus theta plus iota sin of n multiply by pi by 2 minus theta okay so this is correct way to use de moivre's theorem also we have uh, one upon cos theta plus iota sin theta this is equal to cos theta minus iota sin theta okay here we are uh, multiplying numerator and denominator by conjugate of this complex number now this is cos theta plus iota sin theta power minus 1 and we can use de moivre's theorem here so we have here cos of minus theta plus iota sin of minus theta so we have here cos theta minus iota sin theta okay so here we are uh, verifying this result using uh, de moivre's theorem 
Now we can do reverse calculations also if we have some time this complex number cos 2 theta plus iota sin 2 theta. Okay, then we can use de Moivre's theorem like this and write uh, like this cos theta plus iota sin theta power 2. If we have here uh, cos 3 theta minus iota sin 3 theta, we can write like this cos theta plus iota sin theta power minus 3. Okay. So, when we use d minus theorem minus 3 gets multiplied with uh, argument. So, we have here cos minus 3 theta which is cos 3 theta and here sin minus 3 theta which is minus sin 3 theta. Okay. So, hope you are getting how to use uh, d Moivre's theorem. Now, let us try some questions based on applications of uh, this theorem. 